Hey guys, it's Andy here, and uh, this is going to be my last video for uh, at least a month as I'm moving homes and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, I built this jewel ringer, and uh, it works really good. Uh, I, I have to break it down. So, I'm using a D cell battery as a power source. I'm using Laser Sabers. SJR looper, um, you know, coil and everything. It's a ratio of 1 to 100 uh, turns. So, I mean, don't don't ask me how I did that. I followed his instructions, and uh, that's what I ended up with. So, uh, do the same. Um, so I'm using as a transistor the 3055, I believe. I have. Uh, just some random diode between my base and I guess the yellow wire. So with this circuit I am able to control the pulse width and the duty cycle. If you can't control both variables everything's just gonna keep blowing up on you and you're gonna be wasting your time. So I use these, I got them off eBay, 1 watt 3.5 volt LEDs. I got a bag of them and I've never blown a single one. Uh, this is my first one and my last one that I've ever used. They're way better to play around with than these stupid little LEDs. What are you gonna do with these? Nothing. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's useless to you. This is, this is what you're gonna use and I strongly recommend using a smaller uh, pot core. Uh, I'm obviously using a pretty big one, like the biggest one they list um, on the website that Laser Saber linked. So anyways, I'm going to show you this. So this is my pulse width. And this is my duty cycle. Oh, that's weird. There we go. Alright. So the ferrites weren't touching. Now we got a nice humming going. Alright, so this is my most energy efficient, I believe, at max brightness. So you get dimmer, dimmer, yeah. So it's outputting just a dim amount of light, and this is my most energy efficient. A very tiny pulse width, and a massive duty cycle. Like, uh, the time between pulses is huge, because, just watch this. Look at that. It's that's that's the difference so if you can't do that it's it's not a very good circuit so um, yeah actually I should see how hot this is it's it's not even hot this this transistor isn't hot normally you'd burn your hand on it or get too warm this thing's cold that just shows you how good of a circuit it is and uh, let's see bring you up to speed there we go alright so this would be max brightness you can look at that what is what are you doing so if you are able to like clamp these together very gently because ferrite cores crack and shatter I've already destroyed one by accident because my um, 3D printed spool was uh, too tight and I couldn't get it off without breaking it. So that's something to watch out for. And look at that, it just gets more energy efficient. So I imagine if you like clamp these together and like super glue them or something, you get pretty good efficiency. So, anyways, um, that's what I've been working on really hard. And this is it offload. It's interesting to see. Look at that. All right. Alright, so see it's just a spike, and see that's the LED levels it off at right here, it flattens it out, here, I'll just compare again, yeah, see, that's that leveling off, and we'll just see it offload, this is really annoying, I know, but this is science, science is annoying, right, you don't win, you don't win popularity contests by being smart. Alright. There we go. 
So that's what it looks like offload. Alright. Boom. You need a high wattage potentiometers when you're playing around with the jewel ringers. I can't stress that enough. I've blown so many pots because it just can't handle it. I mean, even these big old guys, like, look at this. This guy's huge. He still blew up. Ah, shit. So, anyways, this is what I've been working on really hard. Um, probably my most successful video in my research was the simple DC to AC circuit, which is just behind it. And I'll show you what it looks like again on the oscilloscope. Alright, so I got it all set up. This one has two pots as well, so I can't even remember how this thing works to be honest. I don't even know what works on it. So this just changes the voltage of the uh, pulses. And this thing does, it just kills it. I know there's an overclock to this thing, so if you're at like 0.7 volts, you can still run. I was re-watching one of, well, that simple DC to AC video, and uh, which is good. I mean, it's good for uh, crystal cells, but um, you know, it's just a simple circuit. So um, I think I mentioned in my previous video my SGR looper pot core. When I didn't have the ferrite encasing it, um, when it was running, it would be emitting, like, pulsing, obviously, sending electrons out. And the other coil that's underneath here, I've shown it many times, um, and if I move this, it'll probably break something. It was actually transmitting the energy from the SGR looper onto this because the LED is on its own circuit. Like, it's, the two ends of the wire are just uh, wrapped around the ferrite core. There's, this is completely isolated and it gains its electricity through the pulsing. Like, this, they're not connected. It's just uh, wrapped around the ferrite. So it's an interesting circuit to have beside your jewel ringer because it tells you how energy efficient your jewel ringer is. Because if this thing's lighting up, that means that you're losing energy through EM dissipation. I believe I'm using the right terms, but you never know. So, anyways, um, this is it, and it's a simple circuit. I just wanted to retouch on it, uh, since it's going to be a while since you see another video from me. So, let's see if I can run this guy here, though. I'm kind of curious. Ooh. And it does! Holy shit! Okay. Um, that's really bright too, that's, that's actually very surprising, um, wow. Okay, so this circuit is really good. Alright, uh, let's see, and dead, that's weird. And this is all off a 1.5 volt, uh, D battery. Even bright at that small, but you can't control the duty cycle or the pulse width, you're just controlling the voltage, which is kind of useless. Um, but it's a cool circuit and it's very interesting. The really good thing about using 1.5 volt batteries all the time is that you are always guaranteed to know that your jewel ringer is working because 1.5 volts doesn't turn on a light. So, that's extremely important in my mind for testing. Well, thanks to everyone. Thanks to everyone who's working on crystal cells and jewel ringers and all your hard work. And, uh, you know, keep sharing, keep, you know, collaborating. That's, that's so important. I wouldn't, wouldn't have made it a month doing this stuff without collaboration, especially with uh, John from Anahawken One. There's so many people that I've pooled from uh, knowledge-wise. Jeez, uh, I can't even name them all. I, like, I know I was like messaging Fly Fisher, and there was like Steve Fox, I think. Uh, there were so many people that I was uh, talking to today. It was kind of weird. Um. It's like everyone wanted to, you know, talk about crystal cells and uh, 
jewel ringers tonight or something. So, anyways, um, this is me unplugging everything for the next month. That's that's it, man. That's it. I um I cannot continue my research um in the foreseeable future of the next month or two. So everything's going away. I don't even know what to deal how to deal with this thing. So um you know I'll still I'll still be on YouTube and I'll still be replying to comments and all that. I just won't be doing my research, so you know, um, just uh, message me if you have any questions. Um, you know, feel free to talk to me. I am really easygoing, and I, you know, I will answer any questions. I'm not afraid of that. Um, I know if you guys wanted me to do some things with my crystal cells, but um, I might be able to do it. I'm, I think I can do it, but. Uh, you know, you can't control the future, so we don't know. We don't know, man. Man, I started off doing these things. These are like, there's a there's a circuit that goes on this and it converts 120 volts AC to DC. This is a dumb idea. Don't take AC voltage LED light bulbs and try and use a jewel ringer on them. Buy your own little LEDs or things that are made like these ones. These are DC lights, M16 lights. Use those, use these like DC LED lights only. Don't try and like turn AC fucking circuits into jewel ringers. Uh, you're gonna waste so much time, so much money, just wasting, like I've blown probably 10 of these things. Like, you know, that's, that's not feasible. I started off doing these things, um, these are great, they work great, but they're not nearly as efficient as Laser Sabers, SGR, Looper, Pot Course. These things work for any jewel ringer circuit. Uh, three of them for 30 bucks. So uh, buy some copper foil tape, 3D print this off, I mean you don't need a 3D printer to print off stuff. I learned how to use um, Google's uh, SketchUp program. It took me like five hours of dicking around to learn how to use it. I've never touched anything like that before. I don't even know how to use AutoCAD and I figured it out. It was annoying, it was frustrating, it was hard, but you know, if you really want to do something, you do it. Yeah, that's that's all I can say. And uh, yeah, just get it and uh, start using these because they are crazy energy efficient. Uh, they don't lose power through EM dissipation or they lose very very little enough that it can't even be picked up on here and uh, these little LED lights um, I don't know what other advice I can give I mean uh, I had to buy a lot of like spools of this stuff this was annoying I had to buy like a giant spool of 22 gauge wire and 30 gauge wire um, you know 50 bucks a pop or whatever um, it's not too bad, it's just hard to find. You have to go to like an uh, electric motor repair um, company and just ask to buy one of their spools. That's where I got it from. And like, like I said, if you want to do this stuff, just do it. I mean, nothing is technically stopping you from doing it. Just yourself. You can do anything you want in life. Just don't waste your life sitting around watching TV and playing video games all day long. I play video games all the time, but you don't accomplish anything. It's like it's like casino gambling addiction. That's all video games are. Unethical video game design is like rampant, absolutely rampant in today's society. Um, so yeah, like this is this is way better to do than playing video games. Like. The amount of money I've spent on all this stuff, yeah, it was expensive, but how expensive is a TV or an Xbox or all the video games that you buy? This is this has been the best decision in my life is, you know, doing research instead of sitting on my ass doing nothing. And I've met a lot of great people and I've worked with great people and collaborated with everyone who works with this stuff. It's uh it's really inspiring, so um, this video is too long now, so uh, like, favorite, subscribe, and have a good night.